Do you hear that? Yes, it's time for Stories with Jen and my trusted reading partner, Wally the Wombat. Okay, Wally. Please say hello to Wally. Yes, Wally, they're saying hello to you. Wally says hello back. Welcome. Today's story is called Sticky Icky Vicky. Courage over fear. It is written by Alicia and Michael Sentamu and illustrated by Noor Al Shalabi. Thank you, Alicia and Michael, for giving me permission to read your book today. This is Vicky, or as her friends know her, Sticky Icky Vicky. Vicky is a little girl who loves to play in the mud and roll down the dusty hills. But she has a problem. She has a fear of water because of something that happened to her a while back. One day, Vicky gets a very special birthday invitation to a very special place. But in order to go, Vicky has to overcome her fear of water. Will she be able to have the courage to overcome her fear of water? Mm. Shall we find out? You're sitting comfy. Good. Let's get started. Vicky is a charming, playful, outdoor loving girl with dark brown eyes and long hair with a curl. She lives with her parents on Crescent Moon Beach with blue waters stretching as far as the eye can reach. Vicky likes to play at the playground with best friends Rhea and Betty, playing tips, swinging from monkey bars and getting all sweaty. She is often covered with dirt, looking all icky and sticky. This is why her friends call her Sticky Icky Vicky. Vicky adores her nickname, wearing her dirt-covered covered clothes with pride. Dirt gathered from dancing through mud and rolling down the dusty hillside. All this messy fun is fine if at the end of the day, each day's play, Vicky would get in the bath. But no, this is not her way. Mm. Vicky has a fear of water and will bathe no more than once a week. Only ever a brief shower accompanied by a loud shriek. You can't always go around being icky and sticky, Vicky's mum says. It is nice to have a bath and get clean, especially after dirt play days. Don't you know it, mum? Vicky replies. It's cold and I'm already in bed. Let's read my favourite book and have a long cuddle instead. Vicky's excuses and fear of water started after the accident by the sea. She remembers it very clearly, even though she was only three. Vicky was in the water, jumping waves, having lots of fun. Next thing, she heard her mum shout, Run, Vicky, run! Just then a rogue wave hit, dragging Vicky out, spinning her round. If not for her dad who saved her, Vicky would have drowned. Oh no! Vicky's fear of water sparks a voice in her head. She calls this unhelpful inner voice Negative Ned. Negative Ned tells Vicky that she is not good enough. Don't go in the water, he says. You are not brave or tough. 
he reminds her of the fear she felt as the waves swept her out to sea. This is why sticky Icky Vicky has avoided water since the age of three. Oh, Vicky. One day, while collecting shells on the beach in the early morning sun, Vicky spots Rhea and Betty swimming in the water, having lots of fun. She thinks it would be nice to join them, but feels too scared and sheds a tear. Oh, Vicky. To go in the water with her friends someday, Vicky must choose courage over fear. You can do it, Vicky. That afternoon, tired and hungry from building sandcastles at the beach, Sticky Icky Vicky and her friends sit down to share a peach. After their snack, Betty gives Vicky a birthday invitation to splash Tastic, the world's best water park destination. You are invited to Betty's Water Slide Birthday Bash. Flip and flop on over to celebrate her eighth birthday with a splash. Ooh. Vicky thinks of all the fun she will have with her friends at Splash Tastic. Hurtling down water slides with Rhea and Betty will be so fantastic. She decides she has missed out for too long and accepts Betty's invitation. Trying to scare her, negative Ned whispers, Did you see the party's location? Yes, Vicky replies but I'm not going to avoid water parks anymore. Water is dangerous, says Ned, and you have not been to a water park before. Vicky knows this, but decides the time is right for her to face her fear. She'll go to the local pool the next morning. Her goal? and purpose are clear. Go, Vicky. How do you feel? asks Vicky's dad on their way to the pool the next day. Remember, Rhea and Betty will be there to support you every step of the way. Vicky feels too anxious to answer, her heart hammering fast in her chest. She knows this is not going to be easy. But she is ready to do her best. Go for it. At the pool, negative Ned's voice pops into sticky icky Vicky's head. Why try when you are going to fail? Get icky and sticky instead. Not today, Vicky replies as she watches Betty and Rhea jump in the pool. Wanting to join them, but still too scared to jump in. Vicky feels like a fool. No, Vicky, no. She stares down at the calm pool water and starts to feel hot and sweaty. You can do this, sticky, icky Vicky. You are brave and tough, says Betty. But all Vicky hears are the loud ocean waves as she shudders with fear. You can't do this. Remember the rogue wave, negative Ned says with a jeer. Determined to overcome her fear, Vicky chooses to ignore negative Ned. Go, Vicky. She decides to stop listening to the negative thoughts in her head. Yes. Sticky Icky Vicky, says Rhea with a smile. Get into the pool. Vicky slowly wades knee deep into the water, now feeling calm and cool. She plucks up the courage, bends over and splashes water 
onto her face. The sound of ocean waves disappearing as she feels the water's warm embrace. Betty calls from the deep end of the pool, Sticky Icky Vicky, come over here. Vicky courageously wades deeper into the pool, showing no signs of fear. Yes. She then dunks her head under the water and blows out big bubbles. As Vicky blows the bubbles, she blows away her fear and water troubles. Yes. When she finally climbs out the pool, she gives an excited squeal of delight. Betty! Vicky shouts, there is nothing going to keep me from your party in a fortnight. Yes. At Betty's birthday party, Sticky Icky Vicky is having so much fun. She is drenched from head to toe, playing on the splash pad with everyone. Rhea and Vicky ride down the water slide, screaming happily for all to hear. Look what you could have missed, says Rhea. If you still had your water fear? I know! Vicky replies, smiling as she climbs the stairs to the next water slide. It was not easy, but I had the courage and belief in myself, she says with pride. Look what fun they're having. Oh, go Vicky, well done. Vicky's courage sparks a new voice in her head. She calls this helpful inner voice Positive Ted. Positive Ted tells Vicky that she is good enough. He also reminds her that she can be brave and tough. If you fail or make mistakes, says Ted, it is a great thing because you learn from them and get better at anything. Vicky has a heart full of courage. Now she listens to Ted's positive voice. She has learned to work hard and get to get what she wants because she has the choice. With effort, says Ted, you will learn and get to do some amazing things. Vicky is now braver, enjoying all the adventures that life brings. When I do my best, Vicky says, I know I can't go wrong. This is why I'm no longer afraid to face any fears that come along. Oh yes, Vicky, well done. Vicky still loves getting all icky and sticky, but this is not where the fun ends. She goes swimming in the ocean and jumps in the waves with her friends. Vicky has learned to snorkel and surf and now bathes every day of the year. She always listens to her helpful inner voice and chooses courage over fear. Your choices and who you listen to will decide how you act and feel in every way. Always believe in yourself and work towards doing your best starting from today. Yes, the end. Did you enjoy that? What a lovely story. Aren't we proud of sticky, icky Vicky? who has now lost her fear of water because she was brave, yes, and had courage over fear. Don't listen to the thoughts of negative Ned, rather positive Ted. And like Ted says, it's okay to make mistakes because we learn from them. So starting from today, Always believe in yourself and never stop asking questions. 
How wonderful. If you enjoyed that and would like to hear more, click on the link below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Further down, you'll see instructions to join my Facebook group. And why not follow me on Instagram? Until next time, from my trusted reading partner, Wally, and myself, keep on reading. Bye. See ya.